As we get some insight into how the fight against COVID-19 is proceeding here in the U.S., joining us now is Dr. Ashish Jha, director of the Harvard Global Health Institute. Good morning to you. I know you spoke with Dr. Fauci on Friday, and he said he doesn't think we need to, quote, go into the fall in the winter thinking we're going to have a catastrophe. We could go into the fall in the winter coming out of it looking Good. There are a lot of factors at play as we look ahead. U.S. cases are approaching 5 million, the race for the vaccine, potential complications from the flu season. What do you think of Dr. Fauci's statement? Yeah, so good morning and thank you for ha having me on. You know, Dr. Fauci calls himself an optimistic realist. Uh, and I think he that is a sort of the way to think about this, that uh, it is going to be the flu season. We are all going to be spending more time indoors. Those would make you worry that things are going to get worse. But his point, which is a point that many of us have been emphasizing, is if people wear masks, if people avoid getting together indoors as much as possible, uh, wash their hands, and if we make some changes in fixing our testing infrastructure, we can go into the fall and winter and not have a really horrible season. Uh, we can emerge from it much, much stronger. But we do have to do those things. They won't happen naturally. Well, the CDC is also estimating that about 40 percent of people infected with this coronavirus show no symptoms. And now some researchers are wondering whether that could mean some people already have partial immunity. What significance does this have as we look forward? Yeah, so we've always known that a certain proportion of people with this disease never develop symptoms. My best estimate of the, of the literature is probably a little closer to 20 percent. Uh, but either way, the bottom line is some proportion of people, for reasons we don't understand, never develop symptoms, though we do think many people will still transmit the disease. Whether this because they have partial immunity or whether there's some other reason why, uh, I would say we just don't know right now. Does that get us any closer to that herd immunity people were talking about at the beginning of this? You know, I think for much of the country, we're still pretty far away from herd immunity. And so whether there's a there's some partial immunity that brings us a little closer, uh, I don't know. What I know and what I believe is if we want to avoid hundreds of thousands of more Americans dying, uh, we've got to try to protect people while we wait for the vaccine, which hopefully will be coming at the end of this year or early next year. All right, Dr. Jha, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Dan, over to you. He's such a fascinating and knowledgeable voice. Appreciate having the doctor on this morning. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.